Hey everyone, Merrick's here, bringing you another video. This one is going to be on Apollo Creed Rocky IV. So Apollo is the faction contest for this week. It is a spend event. There's some RNG elements to it. Um, some of you may get him, some of you may not. He is a defensive showboat, and he is going to be a problem um, to deal with for a lot of people. Let's take a look. He's Legendera. Like I said, defensive showboat. Legendera do 10% more damage for gems and then the rocky gear. He's a trainer. Insane trainer. At 6 star, moves that cause bleed will do 150% more bleed damage. This is amazing for uh, Zianka, uh, both Scott Steiners, uh, RVD, um, Hall of Fame HBK. There's a, the Austin Theory. There's just a ton of people this trainer is like clutch, top notch fantastic for incredible trainer um gonna have three builds for you guys apollo plays really really different um with some of his move sets so the first one we're gonna start off with is triple blue razzle dazzle combo and these are all six mp moves deal 191k damage make 30 heal gems into yellow gems going the distance this move can only be used while pinned deal 977,000 damage make 10 random gems into one turn countdown gems that will deal 144k damage and make three random gems into heal gems of strength 112k at the end of the countdown. And then the clinch and break. Deal 162k damage and choose two gems to make into two turn juggernaut gems. That will move the pin bar left by seven notches on every countdown turn and increase your blue MP by three at the end of the countdown. Uh, entourage for this. Lawler, so the moves are loaded. Infeud. Uh, Sami Zayn, Acro, Blue Gems do 45% more damage. Becky Lynch, Trickster, uh, Big Time Bex, 35% more blue damage. And Hall of Fame, Honky Tonk Man, 25% more blue damage. The um, strap we have on for this, uh, I'm going to show you one thing with the drip plate later on and then remove it and run it without it. It does nothing for this uh, move set. Have a black move damage metal on, which also does nothing for this. For this move set, you'd want a 200% blue double takedown if you can get it um with that in the setup i'm running the kick out would be over four million damage so let's get in here and take a look against uh hall of fame taker at six star i will also run this right after this really quick on auto so you can see how the ai auto plays this because i think this is a very strong defensive build set and a lot of people may want to build him as a defensive issue so i will let it auto run so you guys can see what that looks like as well and unfortunately, Blue Stacks lags out the entrance, so I won't be able to show you his entrance because it's lagging um, on Blue Stacks every time. You're just going to put your Juggernaut gems out. If you can get a blue match, take one. Um, Taker's going to do us a solid and hopefully pin us here, which is 100% what we want. Move animations are great for Apollo, by the way. And also, you'd have obviously no problem getting pinned in Feud, right? So one thing I want you to notice that's going to happen. This kickout move, once you use it, the Juggernaut gems are going to fill it back up. and Because it's not a kickout, it's a well-pinned move. So you do that 2 million damage, which would be 4 million with a move damage metal, and then you can do it right away again. So that would actually be 8 million damage on the first pin uh, if we had that. So now we want to kick out and try and leave the countdown gems alive if possible, because they will deal 144k each, uh, which is going to be over another million damage right here. So he's already down to 7 million. Put your Juggernaut gems out again. And then you can see we have an entire board full of 112k heal gems. So you're going to turn those all yellow and heal yourself completely. It's pretty fantastic, to be honest. Um, really strong defensively.
if possible, we don't want to kick out instantly on the pin uh, because our kick out, our pin move isn't filled yet. Uh, so sometimes you're not going to have any control over that and you're just going to kick out. That's the way it is. It will be filled now, though. here. Well, he's going to one way or another. There it is. Okay. Now you can do the double kick out again. And let's do Taker's done. We don't even need to put this down, but you can see the animation again. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead, because the AI actually plays this amazingly. You could use a Z plate with this build if you wanted. Uh, we don't have a blue to yellow, um, or a yellow to blue MP plate yet. That might be interesting at some point. Uh, really, a Z plate would be the way I would go, though, for sure with this. I'm going to crank it up to two times speed and let it auto run so you guys can see the AI play this on auto. Because it plays it uh, just fine, actually. And a lot of you might be thinking about building him for defensive purposes, and this will show it to you. But yeah, he's any damage he takes, he's going to heal up. Um, he's going to hit super hard with that kick out with a blue move damage metal, even more with takedown twos. Um, really like this moveset, actually. I'm not usually a big fan of get pinned once, uh, but I do like this one. Yeah, this entrance is really laggy right now, so at least in blue stacks. So apologies there. It is going to hit that out of turn, but that's actually not a big deal because you're going to do the extra damage and it refills by the time you need it. So no issues there. Now let's see if it uses the pin move twice. Sure does. AI game on point. Look at it go. In fact, the AI is probably playing it better than I was. That's not saying much, though. Big heal happens. Yeah, no complaints at all with how the AI plays it. Kick out, or pin move rather. Pin move again. And that's going to be all for Hall of Fame Taker. He's got a big health pool, too. So, yeah. I think that moveset's pretty great. I really do. It's different than the normal that I typically would like. Uh, but I do like this one a lot, especially on a defensive showboat. Uh, he's going to be a major pain. He's going to have a lot of hit points. Two move sets left. Let's go to the next one. This is one I think a lot of people are going to be really interested in. Drip plate does make a, a difference on this one. 
I wouldn't run it this way with the drip plate. I will show you that the way I'd run it with the drip plate and then take it off the drip plate off and run it the way you're seeing on the screen here. I wasn't even going to use the drip plate, but uh, stream was curious, so I went ahead and did it on the Champs channel stream. Because uh, I think it's a waste of a drip plate. Personally, it's overkill, I think, but maybe you want to do that, so I guess it works out. So, uh, heavy right hook, 2 MP, deal 505 K damage, deal 2 MP from each of your opponent's black moves. Body, blow, battery, 5 MP, deal 170 K damage, choose a 2 by 3 area to swap into yellow gems. Fancy footwork, flurry, 6 MP, yellow, 189 K damage, choose a 6 by 1 area to make into pyro gems. Modify all gems above it into yellow when broken by you. Entourage for this one. Um, that's not the right one. We're going to go previous. This previous button is amazing. Saves me so much time. And I will also take EO off. Um, because she's rare when I take the drip plate off. And we'll run it again. For those of you that don't have it, EO. Which is a lot of people, I understand. Okay. Ted and... So all move damage, uh, that's why the black move damage metal is on. We're up to a million here, plus we have a 200% move damage metal. Um, and this one, the drip plate does make a difference. We'll pop it off, though, uh, after I run this one once. Getting in here, loading up. So this is the rare version, like I said. Then we'll see the less rare version. Move animations are pretty great. In feud, this body blow would not be loaded. Uh, so we would use the steel MP first. And in fact, the drip plate may get in the way of this a little bit at the start. See where it lands? Not so much. We're fine. You don't have to hit this yellow or this black move, uh, but if you want to use the the drip plate, then you do. So, you know. Okay. I'm gonna go along the bottom here. Now we're just stealing MP. You can see we're hitting for two mil a smack on every one of those. And we're putting the multiply gems out uh, from the drip plate. We're going to hold this back because we're going to use that to set off two columns of pyros. So you can see, even without using the drip, we've already got them down to 3.3 million. Um, this is 650k, and then you're blowing up the board. Well, not really blowing up the board, blowing up the board a bit. Uh, we're going to take these two columns and turn them yellow, because we can get all of that. And that puts them down 3.84. So that's that with the drip. Let's take it off. Uh, you got to see the moves, so I'll move it to two times animation so we can get through it quick. And I'll take EO off as well. And Gooker as well. And then we're going to put the trap gem move in. Okay, so the jib and the jab. 4 MP yellow, 155k damage, choose a 5x5 five five area to make into traps, broken by you, deal 46k damage, increase your blue MP by 5, broken by your opponent, deal 256k damage, increase your black MP by 5. Oh, I didn't have EO in that time, that's why the damage was low. Never mind, I wasn't using EO anyway, uh, even with the drip plate. All right. Mistakes were made, but it is okay. And then instead of Gooker, let's use uh, Acro Ford for 10%. 
minimal if you don't have him. Whatever. It's ten percent, you know. Again, keep in mind the body blow and the jib and jab would not be loaded in feud. They will show loaded in this. EO definitely makes a difference too um, with how hard it hits. And I'm pretty sure the game froze. Which it wouldn't be a Merrick's preview if it didn't, so let's fix that. Not the game from freezing. We don't want to do that. And, you know, of course, I could edit this out, but that takes work, and I'm lazy, and then you'd miss my amazing commentary that I know all of you are uh, waiting for all the time. Okay, well, that's loading up. Let's fix this. I find a window capture. This might be the best preview I've ever done. It's up there. So how are you guys liking this Rocky event? I like it a lot. 76 um, and Mr. T are fantastic. Apollo's great too. All right, hopefully it loads in. Hey, it looks like we're good. I don't want to jinx that, so I shouldn't say that. And all the setup is done, so let's just jump right in and go for round two with the MP steel build. Again, no Eon for this one and no Gooker, and I didn't take the drip plate off, so I probably should do that, huh? Otherwise, that defeats the purpose of not running it with it. And uh, remove. Okay. So for this one, uh, break yellow, get black MP uh, plate, which I believe is on the new prize wall, would be pretty good because uh, it would save you an MP steal uh, and let you keep more MP to steal and get you another cycle. So the, the Apollo plate that's uh, break yellow, get black MP. On the Apollo prize wall. Those are only 150 currency. So hopefully uh, your faction it does a little bit and can get you at least to there. You can snag one of those. Uh, even if it's not the black to yellow, whichever one you might use. So again, these two moves wouldn't be loaded. MP steal. And we would hit this to load the trap move. Perfect. I want to put these over an area that lets us connect a bunch of yellows. Just chugging away. down to three mil and this is with no no nothing exciting now we're gonna pop this and the question is that gives us the most coverage I think yeah, yeah. And he'll probably take care of the rest of it himself while breaking him well there you go So yeah, without a drip plate, without EO, um, that way is probably the safest way to get a full drain. He's, that's a Hall of Famer, uh, max, six stars, solid filled. So that's more hit points than you're typically going to see, <clears throat> especially considering uh, black is mostly striker, class advantage there, and much lower health pool. So, all right. And finally, uh, what you've all been waiting for, uh, we need to go against Rocky. Can you be so sure? Well, I've been with the best. And I beat the best. I've retired more men than Social Security. <laughs> True. 
facts. Uh, this move set hits a little bit harder with the drip, um, not significantly harder. This will let you see the uh, finisher though. Um, really, this is more like boss battle style, to be honest. And it blitz to really low MP charge at 5 MP. Let's do previous, it's so much faster. Boy, since I started using this, it saves me so much time. Yellow gem damage and Strowman. Then Santa Hogan, you don't need him for the MP at all. He is on there for the flat yellow gem damage. Hall of Fame Taker works as well. Class advantage against uh, Striker as well in Rocky. And I did not read what the move does, but crowd pleasing finale is a finisher. Deal 336k damage, choose eight gems to destroy. That's the new one. And uh, Body Blow Battery you've seen. I think I forgot to read that one too. Anyway, these are the moves. The Body Blow Battery. Choose a 2x3 area into yellow. 5 MP only. It's cheap. Little Baby Merrick's Cascade. Nothing wrong there. Fancy Footwork. 155k. 6x1 area into Pyros. Everything above it turns yellow. And then, of course, we're going to use our crowd-pleasing finale finisher. Choose destroy. And I did not turn the animation speed down, but we won't keep him down the first time. So not a big deal. You can see 2.5 million hit. Would hit a little bit harder with the yellow move damage. When we had the drip plate on uh, to get the multiplies down, it was hitting for about 4 million not enough to keep people down maybe win in like two cycles though against strikers however what you can do the second cycle if you load the animations are ridiculous if you load this move again is you can get the whole board yellow get a little bit extra damage they knocked it out of the park with these move animations, I'm just saying. Okay. And now for the wind up punch. Proud, pleasing to now. Full board yellow, kabloom. Let's have a good fight. All right, it's time to go to school, son. Oh, Rock's gonna hit us again. Not very hard, though. All right. So, that'll do it for Apollo. I really like him. Um, he fits in anywhere on my roster. You know, he's a legendary showboat. The best one if you can't level up Santa to six star, which I can't. Easily the best one. And uh, I'll compare him kind of to some of the other showboats. This moveset is definitely my least favorite. Once uh, Rocky gives up the fight here. I really like Triple Blue a lot, it's pretty unique. Uh, gonna be very annoying to deal with defensively. You could also use the countdown gems with the judgment day plate and get fairly creative with build sets for that for draining MP, uh, etc. There's a moment uh, that's gonna help him in feud get an extra juggernaut gem actually in all modes. Let's see, we can take a look at that moment too while we go in here. Uh, if you can get the moment. This works in all modes. Moves that create all color gems for more. Multiply gems one. All color gems charge of that by 3 MP. Uh, black gems do 100% more damage. And Juggernauts one extra. Uh, Clubber and Rocky 76. The big winners on the uh, moment. Uh, in my opinion. But it's not bad for Apollo either. 
And then uh, let's take a look at showboats. You guys know I love my showboats. I don't have anyone that plays the way he does. So that's a definite benefit. Uh, he's not all around as strong as like Hall of Fame HBK. He's definitely much more annoying defensively though. Uh, the trainer ability, I'm going to go out on a limb and say is the best six star training ability of any of the showboats. Nakamura's a better feuder, you know, maybe somewhat similar to Balor and speed wise for feud. Um, you know, showdown, if you get a blue match, it's kind of over. Because uh, he's going to kick out, he's going to have a ton of health. Uh, you probably aren't going to beat him quick enough in, in showdown with like vitality medals. He could get up over, you know, 25 million health. Um, so yeah, I think he's as good as any showboat. Uh, throw him up there level him up for the training ability alone, but also as a fighter. Um, I don't think you can go wrong, really. Uh, he's top notch. For what I have not leveled at Showboat, he would definitely go first, hands down. Um, very, very useful. Absolutely love him. Love the animations, ton of fun. And if you're wondering about getting him, you may have seen some of these coming in from your faction. Uh, there's faction milestones here. It is a straight spend event for your faction. Right here, the stars and stripes. Uh, as you spend loot coins, you unlock these milestones that give you a shot at punching bags, and then you get bags, you know, that can give you up to a, a thousand. Which, if you get lucky and pull a thousand, you'll get them outright. Uh, you can also solo spend to supplement and get your way there on top of your faction. Uh, and the prize wall is where you redeem it. Right here. 700 for a 5 star bronze, 1000 for a 6 star, 600 for that moment. And here's all the new skill plates, ultimates and new uh, MP ones. So very, very cool. Uh, hopefully you can get something off this prize wall that's useful for you. There's a lot of really good stuff. Let me know what you think in the comments. Also, fan voting is live. Go vote. I voted for Terry Funk. Go Funk. Um, fan voting's live. Go vote. And uh, thanks for watching, guys, and good luck out there.